Thank you. Good, good. 10% speed. Slowly getting up to 30% speed. So we're just gonna focus on building a little bit of back muscle today, um, as well as focusing a little bit on developing the arm muscles as well, just to make them a little bit stronger. And then we'll go up to 50% speed. And you breathe nice and slow, keep the core nice and tight. And 60%. And we're not gonna do any lower body warm ups today because we're focusing on upper body today. So we'll just go right into our hip rotations from here. Good. And switch directions. We'll go into our twists. Into our chest openers. And then we'll go into our neck rotations. Switching directions. Okay, we're we'll going to our shoulder rotations. And switch directions. Now you're going to flip your palm upwards, stick the elbow into the body, and you're going to try to access this range of motion here. Make sure your chest is nice and tall. Yeah. Flipping the palm downwards, same thing. Okay, and then we're gonna go into these. And then lastly, we'll just kind of warm up the wrists really quickly here. I'm gonna go grab something. Okay, so we're gonna shut off with our back workout. So like I said, really focusing on the back today. So you'll see some exercises that we've done before. Again, I'm gonna get you to grab uh, something like a piece of clothing or belt, something you can use as we're gonna go into this exercise here again. Okay. 
Good. Awesome. Yeah, and so we might have done underhand last time. This time we want to go uh, underhand. So I want you to make sure your palms are facing up. Go into a bent over row position. Make sure your chest is tall. Remember to pull that band apart and drive your elbows back as far as you can. There you go, good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so I want to make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. So maybe you want to come in a little bit and then pull it up. Okay, so this is a little bit too wide, right? You don't want to go all the way here. You want to make sure your hands are over here. Yeah. Yeah. And, and row. Okay. Make sure your elbows are coming back in together. Squeeze that back muscle. Keep that going. We're going to do that for one minute. One minute. Okay. Remember to breathe out as you come up. Breathe out as you come up. Awesome, you're halfway there. Keep going, make sure you're feeling that burn right in the mid back right there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two okay so now what we're gonna do is come down into this position make sure my uh, i'm on my stomach here i'm gonna lift that upper body up again using this band i'm gonna pull it apart and then pull it down okay and make sure you're pulling the the band apart pull it down again squeezing those back muscles we're gonna do that for one minute one minute And make sure you're feeling that contraction right in the back muscles. Hold down your elbows as far as your range of motion can allow you to. And you're halfway there. And make sure you're breathing out as you pull down. Breathe out as you pull down. 20 seconds left. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna stand back up. You know, shake it out a little bit, and then we're gonna go back into our first exercise. So basically, we're gonna superset this first exercise, second exercise, and then we're gonna do that for two more sets. So starting in three, two. One and squeeze the back. Squeeze. Okay, we're halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go into this exercise one more time. Ready? Three, two, one, and pull down. Cool. Nice, yeah, exactly, that looks really good. Okay, let's do another 30 seconds. And make sure you're breathing, good. Ten, nine, eight, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, standing back up. We're going to start in 10 seconds, kind of shake it out. Let the back muscles reset for a second here. Okay. Ready, we're going to go again in five, four, three, two, go. So you want to go nice and slow. Make sure you're putting as much tension on the band as you can. Right, the more tension you pull this way, the harder it's going to be. The more activation and contraction you're going to feel in the back muscles. Okay, let's do another 20 seconds. Another 20 seconds. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, laying down. Ready, three, two, one, start. Nice, yeah, form looks really, really good. Keep that going. We're gonna do another 20 seconds now. You wanna feel that contraction in the mid back, in the inner back. Five. Four, three, two, one. Okay. So now what we're going to do is why don't we take a 20 second break? If you want to grab some water really quickly, just 20 seconds just to kind of let the, the muscles reset quickly here. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our next exercise. Now, if you remember our wall angels, we're gonna find an empty wall here. And then we're gonna do our wall angels. Okay, so one step away from the wall, hand on the wall, lower back on the wall, upper back, driving the elbows down nice and deep. So if you remember, you're taking one step away, make sure your bum's touching, lower back, upper back, head, and arms. Okay, drive them down as deep as you can. We're gonna do this for one minute. Okay, keep that going, keep that going. So we'll do another 40 seconds here. Make sure you're going all the way up and all the way down, all the way up and all the way down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're going to stay on the wall here. We're going to work on something called tricep push ups. Tricep push up. So, how this one is going to work, I'm going to place my hands on the wall here. And then, all I'm going to do is try and drop my elbows to touch the wall as well. So, my elbows are going to come down, touch the wall, push back up. Elbows come down, touch the wall, push back up. 
Okay. So we're not doing a push up. Your elbows have to come down and touch the wall. You see? Um, James. Yeah. For this, um, if I understood correctly, your hands are supposed to be closer than normal push up, right? Uh, it should just be shoulder width apart. Okay. Okay, make sure your elbows are touching um, the wall. Now, the further you stand away from the wall, the harder the exercise is going to be. So just find a kind of a middle ground for yourself, right? And then we're just going to do this for a minute. Make sure you're breathing out as you come up. Okay, so this is working on our tricep muscles in the back of our arm. Good. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Okay, keep that going, keep that going. So another 30 seconds. Okay, I want you to go a little bit slower. It's important to really feel that contraction right in the arms. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to basically, again, going into our wall angels back on the wall. Lower back's touching, upper back's touching, head and arms. One minute. Again, if you feel like there's that lower back arch here, want to make sure you're really getting your lower back down, touching the wall, to make sure there's no gap. And let's do another 30 seconds. And breathe out as you come down. Arms go all the way up and all the way down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. We're going to go and do our push ups again. If the first set was way too easy, I want you to make sure you're stepping a little bit further from the wall and then doing the movement a little bit slower. So focus on that contraction. Okay, ready and go. Going, we got another 40 seconds to go, another 40 seconds. We got another 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Yeah, that looked really good. So why don't we do our wall angels for one more set, and then this one for one more set, and then we'll go into the next set of exercises. Get ready. Three, two, one. Start. Halfway there. Okay, try try going all the way up if you can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. <laughs> Nicely done. That was really good. Okay, going into our last set of push ups. This time I want you to go even slower than your previous time. So go really, really slow. I want you to make sure you're really feeling that in the back of the arm. So to see the speed I'm going at, just like that. Okay, and go. Yeah. One minute. Nice. Okay, push through this last 40 seconds. There you go, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. 15 seconds left. Make sure you're breathing out as you push up. All right, this is our last set for this exercise. Make sure you're finishing it up. Five, four, three, two, and perfect. Okay, why don't we take a 30 second break if you wanna grab some water. Okay. Have some water quickly, and then we're going to move on to our next set of exercises here. Okay, and then we're just going to move in. We can go back to our regular spot now if you want. We're going to be laying down for this next one. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is a sit up, but I want you to have one arm right under the knee here. And the reason why is because I want you to start working on this bicep. So when I push my upper body up, you're gonna actually try and use a lot of this strength. Okay, so you're gonna try and pull yourself up while you do the sit up, just like this. Okay, and we're gonna do 30 seconds on each side. All right, really try and use your arms, pull yourself up. Now, if you can't do it, you can always be in this crunch position. Same thing, right? Use your arm, pull your upper body up. Right? And you will feel it in the abs as well. Okay, but mostly you wanna try and feel it in the bicep. Okay, keep going. We're gonna do 30 seconds, 30 seconds. There you go, good, good. Make sure you're using that left arm. Okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 second break, 10 seconds. Ready, five, four, three, two, and the other arm, go. There you go, good, yeah, yeah, that looks good. All right, make sure you're pulling up with the arm, right? So you wanna curl the arm a little bit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, good job. Now this next exercise is called a back push-up. I'm going to be laying on the back like this. My elbows are out right here beside the body. You're going to try and push your elbows down towards the floor and lift the upper body up like that. So push down, come up, push down, come up. Again, trying to really squeeze that back muscle and go. We're gonna do that for one minute. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, best as you can. Okay, you got another 30 seconds. Okay, try to use your back muscles rather than your neck muscles. All right, so instead of coming forward with the head, I want you to try and go up. Try and go up. Good. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. Okay. Take 10 seconds here. Now I want you to watch me when I'm doing this setup, right? I want my arm right underneath the knee. And then what I'm gonna do here is literally curl the arm. So you wanna curl the arm. Okay, this is what's gonna really get that bicep working. So we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. Good, yeah, keep that going. Five, four, three, two, perfect, okay. Ready, three, two, one, go. Yeah, curl the arm, curl the arm. Okay, you got it, you got it. Almost there, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Perfect. Yeah, that was good. Nicely done. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, we're going to go back into this one. Again, I want you to make sure that when you come up, you're not coming forward with the head. I want you to actually come up with that upper body. Come up. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, start. That's better. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we can take a quick little break. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and start. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, starting the next side in five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, nice. Okay, we're gonna go back into our very last set of our back push-ups. Okay, very last set of back push-ups. Okay, elbows beside body, push that upper body up. Okay, you're gonna do one last set of those. Ready, three, two, one, start. Okay, let's do another 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Perfect. Awesome. So our next exercise, again, focusing on that bicep, what we're basically going to do is in a seated position, you're going to bring one leg across like this with my arm. I'm going to grab onto that leg. The elbow is going to be sitting right on top of this leg. And all you're going to do is curl. Curl your leg up like this. Okay. okay so I want you to activate that bicep. Your elbow sitting right on top of the other leg. Elbow sits right on top of the other leg. Okay, so another 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, one. Okay, try the other side. Now, if it makes it easier, you don't have to grab onto your leg. You can actually just let the leg rest on your wrist. Here. And make sure you're really feeling it in that bicep muscle. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, for this next one, you're going to want to find a chair, okay? Anything you can use, a couch, chair, staircase, anything like that. Basically, we're going to place our hands shoulder width apart behind me. I'm going to walk my uh, legs over here, and then we're going to do our dips. Okay, this is, again, focusing on the back of the arm. So if you could find something. Okay, okay you just want to be careful there. Now make sure your traps are pushed all the way down. Chest is out nice and tall, and you're just going to come up and down. Okay, we're going to try and do that for 45 seconds. going right hands are shoulder width apart so I don't want to go too wide keep them pretty tight to the body here okay now my goal is to do this as best as I can is to come down until my uh, arms are 90 degrees okay let's do another 20 seconds another 20 seconds all right come right down there push up Good, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna go back into our bicep curls. Again, I want you to really make sure you're putting that elbow on the leg and then curling your, your leg up like that. Okay, if you want, you can put your leg right, you can rest it on the, on the wrist like this so you don't have to use any wrist strength. Fifteen seconds more, fifteen seconds more. Five, four, three, two, switch arms. 
and go. Good, you wanna watch your breathing for this one as well. Make sure you're breathing out as you pull the leg up. Breathe out as you pull the leg up. Okay, keep that going, keep that going. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and you're gonna come up. We're gonna go back into our dips, right into our dips. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, start. You got another 30 seconds, another 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go into one more set of bicep curls and then one more set of dips, okay? One more set of bicep curls. Make sure you're going nice and slow with this one. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two. Switch sides and go. Right, rather than lifting your arm up, right? You want to try and curl the arms. Because what happens is when you're lifting the arm up, you're activating this muscle. You want to activate this muscle. So try and doing as much curling motion as you can without moving your elbows. Five, four, three, two. One, okay, we're gonna go into our last set of dips. Last set of dips. Ready, three, two, one, and start. And another 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. So What's gonna happen now is basically we're gonna try and go through every single exercise. Um, starting from the beginning, we're just gonna do one set and then we're gonna try to push through 
everything without taking a break in between. So we're gonna start off with our very first exercise, our bent over rows. We're gonna do these for one minute, one minute. Ready, three, two, one, start. Okay, so make sure there's tension on the band all the time. You never wanna go like this. Keep the tension on the band, tension on the band. Hmm. So another 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, coming down into this position, position we're gonna do one minute of lat pull downs. One minute. Ready, three, two, one, start. There you go. Good. Remember to keep tension on the band, tension on the band. Okay, let's do another 30 seconds. Remember to breathe out as you pull in. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go right back into our wall angels. Wall angels for one minute. Ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, make sure you're going up as high as you can. Halfway there, halfway there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, flipping over. Oops. And the ta camera just turned off. Oh, there you go. Okay, we're gonna flip on over. You're gonna put your hands on the wall and we're gonna go into our tricep push-ups for one minute. Okay, nice and slow. If you feel like it's too easy, I want you to make sure you're stepping a little bit further away from the wall. If you got another 40 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
on, okay? Going back to our regular area, and then we're gonna do our sitting pull-ups. Sitting pull-ups. Ready, three, two, one, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, two, one. Switching sides. Starting in five, four, three, two, and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, going into our back push ups again. Elbows beside the body. Make sure you're going up with the upper body. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, make sure you're trying to push down as hard as you can with the elbows. You're gonna do another 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now we're gonna go into our bicep curls. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switching sides and go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, going into our very last exercise, our dips. dips. Forty-five seconds. Ready, three, two, one. Start. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, easy peasy. Let's go into some stretching. Did a lot of arms today, so we will start stretching the arms first. So let's bring the arm across the body, stretch out the shoulders.
bring the arm back behind the head, stretch out the tricep. So make sure you're pushing that elbow down. And stretching out the shoulder on the other side. Mm -hmm. Bring the arm behind the head. Stretch out the forearms. You're gonna take your finger and you push the palm out. Okay, now you come down, push it in. Okay, flip the hand over. Do the other side. And then I'm gonna flip the arm upside down, push it in. Do the other side again, yeah. Okay, now we're gonna stretch out the neck. So you're gonna take your head, look toward this left armpit, and then you're gonna pull your head down towards that angle. You make sure you feel that stretch all along that line there. Make sure your back is straight for this one too. And switch sides. We're gonna do the front, same for the front of the neck. We're gonna look up and then look towards a 45 degree angle, feeling the stretch down here. And the other side. I'm gonna stretch out the side of the neck as well for this one. Make sure your chin is tucked in so that your spine is straight. You're gonna take your hand and then you're gonna slightly push this side. You're gonna push this side. Feel that stretch here. Okay, and switch sides.
Awesome. That is the workout for today. How do you feel? Do you have any questions for me at all? Was today's workout okay for yourself? <笑>今天四课了 那个比上次又长出来一点儿，五十一点八了，最轻的时候五十一点五，嗯，哦，那还好，饭量呢？吃的呢？我觉得就是这个油炸的东西不能碰啊，我妈那个上个星期炸了一次这个散子，就那碎
啊，需要定的话就一块定也也可以，反正咱们在小群里说，行行行，咱们在小群里，好好好好好好。OK， thank you, Jay. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good day.